cool stuff in Canvas and how we can communicate with each other pretty easily. Uh, so, you know, of course, there is the option of typing. So I could say, hello. I just said hello. Let me say hello again. Uh, but that's pretty boring, right? You know, you can type anywhere. You can type in an email. Here is why this is cool. We can do all kinds of other things. I'll show you what I think is the coolest first, and then I'll show you some other things. So we can record or upload media. Uploading media is like uploading a YouTube file or, or MP3 or a video of some sort. Um, so we can do that, but, but here is what's even cooler. Um, if you wanted to leave a message for me and you wanted me to actually see your face while you're leaving the message, you can record with your webcam. And it would create a link in, in your either discussion board, post, your homework, your anywhere that you can type a message to me, actually. You can leave a webcam message or you can leave uh, a spoken message as, uh, as I'm about to show you right now. So I'm going to record with my microphone only because it's been a very long day. You really don't want to see my webcam. So I'm going to record with my microphone. Of course, I'm going to have to allow my microphone to, to work. I'm going to click anywhere to start recording. And now it's a little weird because I'm double recording. I'm recording um, in the video and I'm recording this message for you in uh, in um, in Canvas. Um, so now we can click anywhere. To click stop. anywhere to start recording. And now it's a little weird because I'm double recording. I'm recording um, in the video and I'm recording this message for you in uh, in um, in Canvas. Um, so now we can. All right. So you get the point. Then we can save it. So we're saving this recording. And what happens is this link is going to actually come up in this box. So if you post a, let's say, a discussion board response or a quiz response or whatever, you can post this. And what your classmates would see would, would be, or me would see, would be this little arrow. And now click anywhere to start recording. And now it's a little weird because I'm double okay. recording. So, so that's pretty cool, I thought. Um, let's let's look at another one. So let's edit this post and see what else we can put in here. All right. So we can put a picture in here. We can put a website link in here. So if you maybe did a a Google Doc, you can put the link there. Uh, you can um put some Vimeo videos. I don't know if I said that right. Um, but for math, this is actually the probably most important one. So I should show this one to you. It's the symbol pi, but it's not just pi. That would be weird to just have a button for pi. It's, you know, it's not a calculator. Um, so yeah, here we go. Uh, we have all kinds of symbols in here. Depending on what topic you're on, you might need some of these symbols. Uh, it has all kinds of other symbols that they don't even show in there. Some extra stuff here. So we have some integral signs and you know stuff that you may not touch for a long time but maybe one day you'll get there so if you want to type an equation of course you would just type what you need and so let's say x plus 2y equals 4 that's pretty easy we could do that without equation writer but if I wanted to say x plus 2y is less than or equal to 4 then I would probably go to my relationships tab and I could put less than or equal to oh there we go and then I could insert my equation and it looks pretty good and it says hello right after which we don't need all right well this is just to, to warm you up here I want you to play with it and because you'll be able to communicate with each other and I want you to know that there are a lot of options for you so have fun play with it and I'll see you soon